Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. As you can see in front of me, I have my Galaxy Nexus that I've been spending several days with now and wanted to kind of run you through an uh, ice cream sandwich more than the hardware. So uh, let's go through some of the features and functions and, and things like that. Some are changes in uh, ice cream sandwich, Android 4.0, and some are kind of holdovers from before, as we'll see. So the first thing is the lock screen, right? So there's the lock screen. Use the face recognition and unlock it. So you saw that face unlock, and uh, I'll show that a couple more times. And say if I didn't have my face in there, not fast enough, then it gives me the option to do a pin or a pattern to unlock it. And as you can also see, I'll go back to that. As you can also see on the uh, unlock screen, you can slide down, not with the lock on actually. You can. Uh, as you can see, you can see the time, the date, um, carrier, and things like that as well. Let's go ahead and unlock it. As you can see, it's not super precise with my face. I was leaning in. It wasn't necessarily straight on or anything like that. Um, it's not a super secure method for locking your phone or unlocking it, but uh, it's kind of a handy gimmick thing that uh, we'll see change, I imagine, in the future. So this is the new home screen, right? And being that this is a um, Samsung device, it does not have touch with it. has ice cream sandwich, so um, what you see here is, is a pure, pretty pure Google experience. And uh, what we'll see, as you can see, there'll be five home screens. And then when you get to the end, it does kind of a animation of blue. It doesn't wrap around. Okay. Go back to the home. That's the home one right there. And uh, you can see I have some widgets. There's a Gmail widget, a few app shortcuts. <coughs> Just kind of give you a browse through. And what you also see is that the Google bar up top stays on every home screen. And there's no way to change that Google bar, unfortunately. I mean, I'd like it on the main screen, but I'm not sure if I need it on all the screens. If we tap and hold on here, they used to be adding, uh, you know, shortcuts and things like that. Now you have is gallery, live wallpapers, and wallpapers. You can't add widgets from the uh, tap and hold. What you also see is uh, some folders, right? And if I tap something, and if I drag it onto something else, it creates a dynamic folder, pretty much like iOS. And what we can see is if I tap on this one, there's all my games in there. And I can rename that folder name right there. I've already named it games, so I'll bounce back out. And what's kind of nice is whatever you put in the uh, the top corner there ends up being the icon that's shown. So we can come over here, we can do an Angry Birds, move it over. And then if I come back out, you'll see the Angry Birds is the actual icon on the folder itself. And that's pretty slick. Uh, so let's kind of look up top here, right? So we've got some information such as uh, time, battery power, signal strength. And over there is our notifications of so typical Android. I slide down my notifications. Uh, I don't know, I only had one right now. It's late at night. But uh, you normally see several different things. And what you can do is you can just hit the X, right, and completely uh, close all of them. Or you can actually take a notification, slide it out of the way, and it will just get that one notification out of there. Okay. Come down. And then you where you see them. And the one thing that's nice to access here with this notifications is that simple tap on that icon right there jumps into the settings, which I'll show you in a minute. So back on the home screen, you can also see down at the bottom there's four icons, right? Um, these are all customizable. The four around the outside, of the center of the menu launcher there. So these you can customize all you want. And this one actually, if you tap on it, you can see you can actually put folders down here. So I have a comms folder for phone, Skype, Google Voice, and Talk. And that's kind of my left one. Then I've got Twitter, uh, messaging, and the web browser. So you can customize them and drag folders down there as well, which is pretty cool. That's pretty slick. Uh, one thing you'll see is it doesn't work in landscape. So there's no landscape support for the home screen. It's all portrait. Okay, I think that's it for the home screen. And of course there's Google. You know, you tap in there and you can start your search you can tap on top, top of that also and, and do your google voice actions so if we go and tap the oh 
The other thing here is you'll see these are three buttons now instead of four. We have back, home, and then the task switcher. The menu option is now gone from uh, Ice Cream Sandwich. And what I'll do is I'll tap the task switcher, I'll show you that. So this is the task switcher, very similar to something like a WebOS. It has cards, and you can see I can scroll and look at all the most recently used applications. Now, if I take something and I swipe it out, it kind of throws it off of the uh, task there. However, it does not close it. If we go and look at the running processes and programs, that's not actually closed. It's just taken off of the, uh, the task switcher and the, and the uh, quick list there. It's not actually closed. But it's pretty slick, as you can see there. And if we tap the application launcher, okay, so this is kind of what we've seen before with apps, right? Um, if you tap something, that's how you bring it onto the home screen there, okay? Or you can tap app info or whatever. And you can also, if you tap on it, oh, ah, dang it, that was the calendar, I didn't mean to do that. pick an installed app. If we, if we tap on an installed app, you'll see that there's options up top for uninstall or view info. And you can drag it up and do something with that as well. That's how you can uninstall it without having to go into your application manager. So these are your apps uh, alphabetically as you can see here. And as a slide, you'll see what happens is the top one kind of goes off and the next page behind kind of pops up from behind, right? There's an animation there which is pretty slick. So go over, another screen pops up, keep on going, we can see oh, I have quite a few apps loaded actually. And then we get into the widgets, right? And you can quickly jump up there by jumping up here and going to the widgets or the apps or up here to the Android market. And then you can see there's a 2x3, 4x1, 1x4. And what you do is you simply tap and hold and then it goes back to the home screen and then you figure out where at home screen you want to put that on. And you see, like when there's spots, you can put it there. The Google Photos one. Okay, so that's the uh, that's all of the home screen stuff. Let's go into settings a little bit. Just want to show you these. So this is kind of the global settings area. There's your wireless connect connections. You can see there's tethering hotspots, Android Beam, NFC is in there, mobile or Wi-Fi Direct. And that's how we access airplane mode. You can see you manage your sounds, the display, which includes lock screen. And if we go to, uh, actually that's security, I guess. Um, storage, battery, tap on battery. You can see we can go and look at the different battery usage graphs too. I've got some in the pictures there. Here's security. You can say, how do you want to unlock? And you can choose what you want to do. Slide, face unlock, pattern, password, that kind of thing. Language and input, all the kind of settings you would come to expect, right? Okay, let's jump back out. Let's go to the keyboard. Show you kind of how that looks. So we go to like a new message. And there's the an new Android keyboard, right? It has the voice as well on there as you can see. And um, as you start to tap, one nice thing is that the words actually change from capitals to lowercase, unlike the iPhone, which I can't stand always capital. And then it does the predictive text as well. So if I if it comes up with a word that I want, I can just tap it. As I'm going through, see there's keyboards over to the left. I can tap on that and enter that quickly. And you can also tap and hold to enter things like numbers and that kind of thing. And if we tap over here, you can access the numbers. You can access more punctuation. Etc. Etc. It also works in landscape mode. So you can go in landscape. It just makes it nice and big. It's pretty fast. Uh, the text, the word prediction is pretty good, and I'm pretty happy with it myself. Let's see. Now we also have apps, right? Things like uh, some of the advanced apps here, such as Gmail. Gmail is fantastic, of course. It uh, works in both portrait and landscape. It has all the support for all your labels. Um, archiving, searching, everything you could want. Another great thing about uh, Ice Cream Sandwich is it has native exchange, which actually is pretty good. One thing that uh, when I was in an email and trying to tap an email and find an email address, it dynamically searches my global address list and inputs people's names in there as I type, which is which is very handy. 
They also have a thing in here called people. Um, we tap on that. It's just a different ways of seeing your contacts, as you can see your favorites. One thing that's odd is the pictures get all goofed up, and I've seen most of my pictures are, are pretty goofy. A couple of them are, are okay, but uh, I don't know what exactly the deal is on the resolution of the uh, contact photos there. But uh, you can actually manage groups, you know, um, create your contacts and manage them that way. Uh, the web browser is pretty slick. Although, as Kevin Toffel has mentioned before, we have some issues there. So this is the web browser. Let's go to uh, let's go to the bookmarks and see what we've got. So let's go to the smartphones and cell phones blog. Of course, there's no flash. Who cares? I don't. It's a, it's a nice experience anyway, without worrying about flash. Again, portrait landscape, full mode. Oh yeah, so there's the menu, right? So now the menus are all these three little dots. You tap that, you can access the menus. And as we can see, we can go to settings, and there's plenty of settings in here for uh, for managing the web browsing experience. We'll go through all those. There's even some labs you can go add some of those things, quick controls. Oh yeah, I guess I'll show you the quick controls. And if we tap that, go back. You can see there's some quick controls here with uh, kind of a little slider on the left. And let's see, we also have the camera. And the best thing to look for this is uh, in my um, in my pictures. You can see a lot more. One thing with the camera is interesting is it has these uh, silly effects, which more fun than anything else. But the kids get kick out of that. It also has video editing and. Um, which is the movie studio. If we see here, movie studio, we come in here, we can create a new project, call it a name, and you can go and uh, mess around with the project and put in video and all that kind of stuff. And the good thing on the gallery is, go into the gallery, it's kind of revamped gallery, which is pretty slick. Look at some of my photos. Go to my daughter's here, we come over here. We can uh, quickly upload it, share it, of course, upload it to Facebook, tap on edit, and we've got all kinds of editing fun functions as well, right? We've got some different lighting uh, options, we've got a bunch of different effects, documentary, vignette, you can change a bunch of different things on it, go back out. Again, there's black and white, saturation, sepia, things like that. And you can crop, straighten, face glow, all kinds of things. So it's nice to, and as you saw, it's very quick as well to uh, go ahead and edit pictures and, and video right on the Android device itself. So that's a pretty good basic look at uh, Ice Cream Sandwich. I, there's a, I'll link to some excellent reviews that go into lots of details, and I have about 80 images and screenshots of, uh, of some more in-depth stuff on Ice Cream Sandwich. Just want to kind of give you a quick little overview with video. Um, thanks for watching.